So let's do a quick little head look. And more importantly, how do we switch to head look and change targets and so forth? So we need objects to look at. So I'm going to choose some objects. Stick one here. And let's give them a layer. I happen to have already made a layer called look at, but you can name it whatever you want. You can just add a layer, give it its own little layer. <coughs> Uh, you could also do this by tags, right? We can say this is an interesting thing, and not use the layers if we want. You can, you can kind of. There's a few different ways to do this, and let's, you know, stick some of these around, like this. Now, <coughs> what I'm going to do is, I am going to actually, uh let's do let's a let's make an array list proxy and call this interest just like that i guess now we could do an overlap sphere to find these things or it depends if you want to use an overlap sphere you could you would you'd filter by tag or by layer or you could do say a trigger event and filter by tag, right? We only want to see the interest. This is the interesting thing, right? So we've we've seen it, and if we've seen it, all we want to do is array list add to the interest list that we have here it's a type game object and we're going to add the interesting thing and then we're going to finish and just go right back and then we can do another one of these i'm just going to copy and paste it we'll need this is on trigger exit and say it's gone and then we come down here and now we do array list remove So again, we're going to use the same array list because we're still dealing with that. The interesting thing, we, we remove it and we come back. So now this little trigger event system on trigger enter and on trigger exit. So anything that we come into contact with, which we you know obviously need a trigger for this to even work. So let's do that. You could also make this a child of the player. Uh, let's let's make it like I don't know, for now. Let's make it that big. Not no. Screw it. Let's go big. Let's go big and start our player back here. And if we look at this list, oh, it's already got one in there, right? As we walk this way. It fails up, and as we walk away from it, it empties out. Just like that. Pretty cool. So we have this, this, uh, I don't know, interest collector or manager, I maybe would be a better word. Word title I don't know so we want to look at this stuff so let's a go into the animator go into your whatever your object humanoid go into your layer hit the gear and say IK pass this allows for IK to happen without it IK will not work and that's hand IK foot IK and looking IK so now that we have that, we need an FSM called the Look Manager. So now that we have that, let's, uh, I don't know, let's say we could do it off a key. How about? And let's say get key down. Uh, I'll just use tab maybe. I 
and we're going to look at stuff. So if we get that, we need a couple things here. A, we need array list count. So we need to check if this list even has anything in it. So if the length is zero, it's empty. And if it's empty, then you might as well just go back and wait for another button command. If it's greater, it has items, so we can look at them. All right, and we can pop over here. And if we have items, well, now we can simply array list um, to get next. We can say from the interest, we need a loop event and a done event. It is a type game object. The thing we are looking at. So let's put in our loop and done. For the done, I'm just going to control click and go right back in an empty state. I'm just, well, no, not empty. State. I'm going to put a next frame event. Just, it'll always be here. All right. So if we're going to loop through this because we know it has an item because we've checked it we can now look at stuff so now as we loop through <coughs> we can use set animator look at and we can look at the thing we're looking at from this thing and we have a way we can do this every frame now to make it smooth we want a variable for the weight, All right? And then what we want to do is actually interpolate that variable. I'm going to use the ease in and out, and we want to go from interpolated to one store interpolated, and then down here we use interpolated to look at it. So it's it's a <clears throat> it'll be a smoother action. It'll flow right now here if we say get key down again and maybe we'll just use tab again maybe or I don't know maybe tab maybe tab's not a good number for, or the, let's use I guess space because I'm not using it. Obviously you can set the keys up however you want. Send input um stop look at so now we have a stop look at I'm just gonna actually go down here for a minute and then the other thing we can do is get another key down and this actually space can be the okay let's use tab tab can be the start and stop space will be next item so now we have the next item so <clears throat> and then of course the other thing we need is get distance because we don't want to be looking at this thing forever is we're going to take the distance of the thing we're looking at And we're going to compare its distance. And if distance is, say, I don't know, less than, no, greater than 10, it's gone too far. Every frame. So, 
the stop look at and the too far are actually going to do the same logic. So I'm actually just going to go to the same spot. I always could just say the stop look at item, but that will help maybe make things more clear. So if we're going to stop looking at something, we're going to want the same actions. We don't want to just go over here and stop looking at it because that'll be jerky. We want these same things, but now we're going to zero. And we're going to be looking at it. And then when we're done, I'm going to use the done event. Then we can go over here. And time-wise, we might speed that up a little bit. And if we want to get the next item, we don't want to just go back into here. We also want to interpolate this stuff down. We want to go to zero. And when we're done, we'll use the done event again. And then we're going to go into here. And what this will do now, if we watch it, is say we are over here. So we have nothing in our content, right? There's nothing to look at. And I hit tab and it says, nope, there's nothing around us. Tough luck. And we come over here and now all of a sudden we have something to look at. If I hit tab, oh, what do we have? We had a distance was too far too far oh lord tundering look how I set the distance up distance 10 Man, I tell you, what a horrible float compare that was. I didn't even fill it in. All right. So we come along and we say, okay, we're looking. And now he's looking. Isn't that cool? And I can turn and strafe. Don't matter. Flying away. There he is. He wants to look. Now he's too far away, so we stop looking. I come along. I hit tab. We're looking. I hit tab again. Oh, oh, sorry, not tab. I'm supposed to be using space. Tab is to look and stop looking. Hit space to switch targets. And he's like, oh, I'm going to go over there. Oh, I'm going to go over here. Right, and I hit tab and he stops looking. Hit tab again, he starts looking. Hit space, he switches targets. Right, so that's just kind of one way that you can use this this system. Uh, uh, you can also use it for combat and stuff too, right? You want to choose a target you're looking at, you want to shoot at and stuff. Uh, it works pretty good. But there is a si simple way, even though of course I make it as complex as possible, I suppose, is we have a system that we fill an array with. And like I said, now this, you also could use an array list overlap for this part. But ideally, we're, all we are is just filling up a list and emptying the list out. How that's achieved, there's a lot of different ways. I just use trigger. It's nice and simple. The main thing is this, right? And this, we don't even have to do it on a key down. We could do it uh, based just on distance. We get, you know, there's something in here. Let's, you know, let's make it automatic. But this is just a small check so that we're not going to try to run this logic if there's nothing to look at. But we have items. Okay, so now we run this. And we're abusing the layer or the loop logic, the uh, get next, by going into it and then just hanging out in it. Just as our place of hangout. We're just going to sit there and look at stuff. And we can run logic in there. We slowly look away and grab the next item. Then we look at that again, right? And then if we can come out of that anytime we want, we just slowly look away and back into here.